In this video, we will examine how to add a change password option to the integrated login on a tabbed UI. Here's a tabbed UI with integrated login. Note the link for change password. This is created by editing the link normally used by the register new account option. This link is only shown when no one is logged in. If we click the link, we open a window. The window opens with a UX component that is used to change the user password. We will look at the UX component shortly. We'll now move to the properties to show how the link in the window were defined and how the UX component shown in the window was selected. If we go to the properties to the login section, we can see that the has register new account link has been checked. The new account prompt has been changed to change password, which is shown on the link. The component to display is the UX component change password. And the window title has been changed also to change password. When we click the link, we will now open this component here, Change Password. We'll take a look at this UX component to see how it is defined. As we see here in Working Preview, there are only a couple of controls needed in this UX component. We have a username, a current password, a new password, and a confirmed password that can be used for double entry. And of course, a Submit and Reset button. If we look at the controls, we can see these controls can have any name because they will be mapped to the proper controls. The password fields are checked as password fields since we do not want to display the actual text. The only code required is on the server side. It can be placed in the dialog validate or the after dialog validate event and is available through action scripting. We have action scripting here on the dialog validate event. If we edit the action, we can see we open up a genie to configure the various parameters. On the left hand column at the top are the various security values that are expected. The right hand side we can select whatever control we want from the UX component to match up to that property. Again the confirm password is not required. At the bottom we have a series of messages. See, these are the only messages that the change password option will return. We can have a change accepted, failed, user not authenticated, username required, it's missing, password format, etc. Note that these messages can include language tags as shown here. So we can translate the message as defined here to some other message or some other language. If we go to the properties, we can look at the language definitions and we can see how this would work. This particular text was wrapped in language tags in the definitions and will be replaced with this text when the component actually runs. If we go to working preview we can see how this would work. If we enter some information here the username message was wrapped in language tags. When we submit we will see we get an error message all mes messages in this UX component will be shown at the top of the component in the global error section. As you can see we've returned the text that was defined in the language tags. If we go back to the actual tabbed UI, we can see how this will work. We click the change password button, we put in some information. And when we submit we will get a message back. The message may be an error, which in this case is web security is not active, or it could be uh, an error about the information, or it could indicate that the password change was accepted.